So in today's experiment, we are going to isolate the pectin from citrus fruit. So what is pectin basically? Pectin is nothing but a polysaccharide. So this is present in the middle lamella of the peel of citrus fruit. As you can see, we have taken uh, the uh, citrus fruit here. This uh, you can take any type of citrus fruit like a lemon, orange, musambi or anything. We have taken here musambi. You can take uh, the orange peel also. So the first thing what we are going to do here, we are going to collect the peel from here. So you can find here, this is uh, the, uh, the peel of the citrus fruit and here uh, 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 the white part, yellowish white part you can see, this whitish yellow part is the pectin. So we are going to separate out this pectin from this orange or any citrus fruit bit. Cut into small pieces. Now after cutting into small pieces, you put in distilled water and you heat it at 100 degrees centigrade so that it get boiled. The reason for boiling is that uh, the, uh, the uh, cells get softened. Now here the pH maintenance is very important here. The pH should be maintained around 2.8 degree. It should be acidic in nature. If we uh, um, uh, add more amount of acid if the if it is solution is more acidic in nature then whatever the pectin is separated will get dissolved and if it is less acidic means it is more than 2.8 then obviously the the precipitate pectin precipitate will not form uh, to maintain uh, the ph acidic ph we can use any type of uh, organic or uh, uh, inorganic acid as an organic acid, we can use tartaric acid or uh, inorganic acid, we can use uh, the hydrochloric acid also. So let us uh, add little quantity of uh, uh, acid here, like that. And with the help of, with the help, of, we have added acid here. So just we have to triturate it or we have just we have to mix it, not triturating, just mixing it. And we have to continuously measure the pH of the solution by means of pH paper you can use that so take little quantity of the solution and add as a drop wise and this is the pH meter you can see this is the pH 1 3 6 5 6 7 and this is the basic pH this is the acidic pH and this is the basic pH and we have to compare the color of this pH with the filter paper when it is approximate 2.8 means approximate 3 slightly orange color then we should immediately stop the adding of acid now let us imagine uh, that we have attained the pH and now you boil it for some time after boiling you filter it with the help of this filtration unit with the help of this filtration unit you just boil it <coughs> let us take this beaker You slowly decant that solution. So it will, it will take some time. So after preparing whatever the mark we are getting, this contains the pectin. So you collect the mark. After collecting the mark, you wash with more amount of water so that the, whatever the excess of acid is there it get removed. So after that you <coughs> collect in, uh, in a dish, uh, in a uh, petri dish so it will appear slightly orange in color. So uh, it will, you can see the color here so it will appear the color like that. Now you dry it inside the hot air oven after dry and you wait for some time. Let us imagine uh, for 5 or 10 minutes at 100 degrees centigrade 
uh, it is being dry keep periodically checking otherwise the entire product will get charred take it out and just you stir it upon stirring you will find little bit whitish or yellowish white lump like that you can see here the lump so now you transfer into a mortar and pestle and you triturate it so the final product what you are getting is like pectin is the powder of pectin you calculate the percentage yield from uh, suppose 50 gram of uh, the orange peel or any citrus fruit peel how much you are getting then from that you calculate from 100 gram how much you are getting so this is the report of this experiment thank you